This is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com, and in this video, I'm going to be going over blood flow of the heart. And after you watch this YouTube video, you can access the free quiz that will test you on heart blood flow. So let's get started. To easily understand the blood flow of the heart, what you want to do is you want to divide the heart into two sides. We have the right side of the heart and the left side of the heart. And each of these sides has its own mission. Now the mission of the right side of the heart is to take the unoxygenated blood that it received and get it to the lungs. So the right side is going to take the blood right to the lungs to get oxygenated. Now the left side of the heart is going to, it's responsible for oxygenated blood. So it's just received oxygenated blood that has left the lungs to go throughout the body. And what's really awesome to make it even easier to memorize is that each side, the right and the left side, has six structures where that blood has to flow. So let's go through the blood flow of the heart. Okay, everything starts on the right side of the heart. And blood is being drained to the heart from the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. And it's exhausted and it needs to get replenished with oxygen. So it drains in down through the right atrium. The atrium are always on top of the ventricles. So remember that. Then it flows down through a valve. And there are valves that separate your atrium from your ventricles. Over here on the right side, we have the tricuspid valve. And on the left side, we have the bicuspid valve, the mitral valve. Now how can you keep the two separated? I like to remember the saying, try before you buy. So the tricuspid valve, bicuspid valve. So the blood goes down through here, then it goes down through the right ventricle. The right ventricle squeezes it up through the pulmonary artery, but the blood has to go through another valve, and it's called the pulmonic valve. So it goes from right ventricle, pulmonic valve, to the pulmonary artery, which the right side again takes it right to the lungs. So the, that unoxygenated blood goes through the lungs, and on your alveoli sacs are capillaries, and you have this gas exchange going on. So oxygen that you're breathing in is crossing over, attaching to those red blood cells, and the carbon dioxide that's built up in your blood from this exhausted blood that's just been used from your body is gonna cross over and you're gonna exhale it. So the blood is nice and oxygenated, and it has left the lungs to go into the left side of the heart through the pulmonary vein. Then it's gonna go down through the left atrium, goes through another valve. Again, what was that valve? The bicuspid valve, the mitral valve. So right here, then it goes down through the left ventricle, and then it's gonna be shot up through the aorta. But in order to get up through the aorta, it has to go through another valve, which is the aortic valve. So it crosses through the aortic valve, up through the aorta, and then it's gonna replenish your organs and your tissues. Okay, so that wraps up the blood flow of the heart. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take the free quiz and to subscribe to our channel for more videos.